Okay, we're back. I'm um, sorry oh, about God. that. I got a phone call, so you know we got hella sidetracked for a minute. Um, <laughs> we got pretty badly sidetracked. Right, let's, you know, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah. But um, where were like we? An hour worth. Worth. Kim, you are the reason we got sidetracked. <laughs> just eat your noodles. Eat your noodles. Eat your noodles, Kim. I was just keeping everyone else busy while you're talking to your mom. <laughs> eat your noodles, Kim. Just, just, just eat your noodles. <laughs> eat your noodles. <laughs> eat your noodles. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I might eat some. I got a pet. Oh, a pet. You might hear some slurping, but that's okay. Just go on mute. Ow. I might join you. Going off with who? I said go on mute. Oh. Go on mute. <laughs> what? I don't want to be on mute. I'm so confused. Ow. Ow. I don't have a my hands. So I don't understand what everyone's saying, but if I put them both in, I'll speak really loudly. So you're turning the volume down. Yeah, turn your no, it's not that, because I have earphones in, so I can everything's muffled, so I think I'm talking lower than I think I am. Wait, that didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 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 so, back on track. So essentially, um, we were talking about Telesthesia's character and everything. Um, That's me. <clears throat> yes, Kim is Telesthesia. Dre, get on this phone call. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you, DeAndre. Ow. All right, get on this call. Um, but sorry, got a little triggered there. Um, <laughs> is, is Milo coming on or not? Who? Milo. You mean Jamelo? Yes. No. Okay, Cause that's our that's name. That's our Instagram name. Yeah, it's it's. Look, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, it's a good thing because I would have gone off on her, and that would have been really bad. Okay. All right, all right. We're not we're not here to talk shit. Um. Or are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Um. All right. So essentially, back back to back to Telesis's character. <laughs> Back to tell us Steve's character. Oh, it's an old Hi! Hello. You're in drama. You're in drama. I forgot you were a part of this. Oh, wait, we talked at Harry's graduation party. The one of the writers. The whitest? The writers. The writers. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the whitest. The whitest. I thought he said whitest, too. He's one of the whitest. I was like, wait a minute. I'm the whitest. I think I'm the only white person on this cast. No, okay. no, Luke. There's Every Luke. Situation. There's Luke. Shut up. <laughs> Who? Lucas? Or? Mm hmm. I don't know. Who is he? Um, well, he's not anybody yet. Um, him and Jamisa are basically in the same boat. They're new characters yet to be revealed, but we're going to get into it's that. It's really bad when you have so many, ca like, so many cast members and you don't know who is who. Yeah. But, um. We should probably, like, reintroduce ourselves now. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna do that if Kim would stop sidetracking us every five seconds. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's all your fault. Not yeah, like I just joined. Oh, babe. Kim, 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 oh, Kim, Kim. Kim. <laughs> Either mute yourself or eat your noodles. Let me mute. Let me mute myself. Please. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, back to tell Stevie's character. Excuse me. Thank you. Kim. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I mute myself doesn't mean I can't still hear you. Kim, it. Kim. <laughs> go ahead. Please go on mute. I'm I'm asking politely, please. Okay. Thank Don't you. Don't do it was a bad time. <laughs> okay. So with Telesis's character, you know, Kim, um essentially, um, she she became an orphan. You know, she had to fend for herself on the streets. Um, you know, fight, survive, steal, do whatever she had to do. Um, until one day, you know, she was a little one too. Um, and one day she ran into a uh, U.S. general, General uh, hey, uh, William Eiling. Little one means little one, as in size, child, age. Uh, yeah, okay. age. Um. So she ran into General William Eiling, and Eiling adopted her essentially, and inducted her into this military black project, um, 
tr attempting to create um tactical super soldiers essentially um you know all captain america style and everything um oh wow that's wonderful yeah and so they enhanced uh certain aspects of her <clears throat> physical being and her mental being um so they made her stronger more agile but they also made her more tactically sound um and her you know mentally um so she became a brilliant tactician um and as a result of that she, eventually she was able to escape um you know the military base because they had her had her locked up you know that she was essentially a prisoner um once again like maximum right yeah um but she was eventually able to escape unfortunately through a vast series of events the military eventually caught up with her and they deemed her too dangerous to be left you know um conscious essentially they didn't want to kill her because she was too valuable and general eiling um had become so attached to her character um because at the end of the day he still was her adoptive father so instead of killing her what they did was um they froze her on ice you know they put her on ice for a few years um and when dark side invaded everybody died so essentially what happened was that wound up being instead of that being a few years that wound up being 15 years um when she was on ice wait so how old am i now 21 uh well uh -huh. now you're the same age as you know you were when biologically you're the same age as, as you were when you were put on ice okay so technically how old was i when i was put on ice like 15. Like the Exactly. Oh, Eric is like Avatar. I'm trying to think of a proper analogy. I was going to say Squidward. That was not was the time. Hey, 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 hey. Sidetrack, sidetrack, sidetrack. Okay, sidetrack. Yeah. Focus, people. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, but... anywhere, anyway, about our Avatar universe. Stop <laughs> 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 so this right now. Well, no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Project. I have to do something about my major, and my major is chemistry. So I was looking up super soldiers, right? They really are trying to make. Okay. Oh my god! I, I have believe a hallucination it. Hallucination about that in the hospital. They are making mm. super soldiers. So they already said that. They are I'm stopping that. Oh, no, yes. no, 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 no. I'm stopping that right now. Okay. I'm stopping that right now. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, side note for later. we're gonna. I'm saying we're gonna go off on a whole nother tangent. Basically, what her character is is what they're actually going to do with soldiers. Basically, hey. um, <laughs> no, 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 actually, no, I, I do agree with Eric on this one. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, Eric's character is Warhead, Warhead um, and he is well, essentially, uh, well, you'll, you'll, you'll get to know war, uh, more about Warhead in a little while. Um, oh, I was, I was just gonna, I'm a mystery. Uh, spoiler alert, he was, uh, Essentially, he was the yellow-headed figure with a radioactive symbol on his chest. Um, that is partners with. Uh, he's the he's the one that has the with a glowing face. <laughs> yeah, that. And the shoulder pads um, and the radioactive symbol on his chest. Uh, who's also partners with um, Jock Rayom, aka Overkill, um, the Kryptonian of our group. Hello, I'm Overkill. How are yes, you? that's Marquis, uh, the voice of Overkill. <laughs> The one without the camera on, right? Yes. The light was here. Um. Don't go the noodles are gone. So yeah, um, that's the whole deal with that. So, her character, um, when Darkseid invaded, she did escape. Um, but you know, the world she woke up to, the world she escaped into was essentially a living nightmare for her. There were demons in the sky. You're good if you don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, obviously, you know. <laughs> but there were demons flying around in the sky, you know, pits of fire just opening up out of nowhere. It was a bad oh, wow, situation. You know what? She probably thought, I probably thought that I woke up in hell like I did something really bad. And she could have like a complex like that. Like, oh, I know I'm going to hell, so... Yeah, um, essentially that's, that's basically what, um, what happened. And she tried to find her, I mean, at first, um, she tried to assess her, you know, surroundings, 
um, you know, assess the situation. <clears throat> kind of like she tried to find as many survivors as she could. She tried to find as many survivors as she could, and eventually she came across the resistance. And you know, later on, that's when Luthor um, granted her the abilities of the Exobites, and the Exobites enhanced. Tell me she did not just ask, what is that? Um, um, you know, the thing that we hear all the time. I told you guys that I am not up to date with this, any of this world. We, so we literally, literally just talked about this at the beginning of the podcast. You know what, we talk about a lot, and you know- Because you keep getting us sidetracked, I swear to God! derailing everything. <laughs> Stop derailing everything. I told you that this was a really bad time of day to do this. You gotta stop derailing everything. Okay, basically. Go make more noodles. <laughs> basically, um, when Luthor got um got a hold of her, he granted her her exobite, and the exobites that she received enhanced the mental aspect of her abilities. Um, you know, it gave her mental powers. Um. <coughs> Such as creating okay. illusions, uh, telepathy, telekinesis. In her mind. Oh yeah, telepathy. We were gonna have a scene where I was talking to you guys, like in my mind. Yeah, we. And in your mind. Spoilers, Jesus, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was already in there. Mm-mm. 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 No, you know what? You know what? You know, no, 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 no. You know what? I'll take responsibility for that one. I forgot to tell you that was a spoiler. It's okay. I'll, I'll, t- I'll take responsibility for that one. That was my fault. Forgot to clarify that. But um, yeah, you know, since she received the exabyte, she was able to receive things like flight, um, telekinesis, telepathy, etc. Um, and essentially, her flight was just you know her using telekinesis on herself. So. You know, she was able to simulate flight. Um, so, so she was manipulating her surroundings or herself? Yeah, basically, herself. Um, so, yeah, that's um, how her character came about. Um, Next character. <laughs> well, no, 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 we're not going over all the characters because the rest needs to be. No, no, we're just doing the, the details. Um, because we needed, because we were originally talking about series, but um, <laughs> essentially, um, you know, when it comes to frequency with the episodes, um, we have a bunch of different factors to include. You know, like um, when folks are available to record, and when people are available to do their lines, when people are able to film, um, and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, thus far, um, the script writers are me and DeAndre, um, you know, Mr. Mr. Mike Powers, um, so yeah, um, it's been, it hasn't been easy, I'm not gonna lie, um, it's easier with more filmers, um, and more people. But at the same time, if everybody wants a different character, then, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't exactly even itself out, especially if um, everybody who wants a character is not able to film. Um, it's like a lot of people say, oh yeah, I'll definitely be able to say these lines, and then it just doesn't happen. Yeah, then it takes them like a week There's or like a month no to do it. There's incentive since it's a non-profit for them to Oh shit! What in the world? Jesus, what happened? Are you okay? That was a little slow fall. Don't worry. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, I failed slowly, so like. Slowly? Hashtag in the comments. Oh shit! <laughs> I know 
Mm-hmm. But um so yeah, it's been it's been pretty difficult. Um but now, you know uh that's also why certain characters may or may not be returning um for season two. Because yes, there will be a No, 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 Jesus, what is that, y'all? <laughs> if you're gonna spoil something, at least say spoiler alert or something. Give us a spoiler warning. We should have had warning, everybody dies. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Everybody doesn't die. Not everybody dies. I thought we were in all involved in the show, so I thought everyone knew that. No. Yeah, not, not everybody. Not the audience. Jesus, Dre. <laughs> I know like half of what's going on, the other half I'm just like, what? I, I know what one, one, on. one eighth of what's going on. Spoiler, I'm a green lantern. I just show up and talk. It's not spoilers. It's just, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's totally a spoiler. What do you mean? That's not a spoiler. That's not at all a spoiler. We already brought it as character. Dre's. I know. I was joking. <laughs> Who knows, hey? <laughs> I said the seventh episode. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. How many episodes have we Now I gotta cut that out. <laughs> Damn it, Dre. <laughs> Was this gonna be a video? Yeah, his. Oh, well. Why did you think we were doing this? <laughs> we were all on the same page. No, yes, no, but we're also. I mean, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. I did this so that we will all be on the same page and so that the fans would know what our show was about, essentially. It's a briefing. Basically. A brief history. Shows what everybody has to a brief history of DC Universe Hope Survival. Starring Quincy you know, Stewart. Better. You know what would be better? Huh? You just kind of like narrated every person's story during the off season. Like like uh, Rooster Teeth does with Ruby. Yes, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> Eric, Eric, come on now, Eric, come on Eric, now. Don't down. don't do what Kim just did. You standing? Sit down. You know what I'm saying Kim's on topic. Come on now, come on now, come on now. He's still standing. Eric, go make some noodles. Shut up! <laughs> I think he's just dying. I can't with these people. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're back. Um, so, yeah. We're, we're, we're trying, we're trying part three. Um, not sure how that's gonna work out. You know, Dre doesn't spoil anything <laughs> Jesus no more I promise no more yeah sure no more you promise you sure promise. you promise me but but it's kind of Harry it's kind of your fault because he didn't tell us what not to say hey now hey now hey now I thought that was an obvious spoiler hey hey now hey now this is what you hey, to me no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. We haven't told anybody about your character yet, so. <laughs> Is that. Who is playing that? <laughs> While everyone dances. Let me stop. I'm getting away. <laughs> I get a little too sweet. Um. All right, so it was one more thing we were gonna talk about. Um, continuity. Oh Jesus Christ! We y'all know we gotta talk about the canon, right? Y'all know we gotta talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused as always. I can't read that. Oh, 12 subs. Hey, 12 subs. But, um. Yeah. Okay. So. 
who wants to go first with the continuity thing? Like, who wants to start out with the beginning of the continuity? Okay. All right. So, in the overall story, um, each of the members of Black Omega have had their own lives. They um all went their own trials and tribulations before, you know, Dark Side invaded and after Dark Side invaded. They all found their own unique way, um, to the resistance, and you know they've all had their own different experiences. Um, and so essentially what wound up happening is hey Marquis um essentially what wound up happening is they all became warriors essentially they all became metahuman warriors to fight against dark side um once they were all given their exobites by luthor you know for his top secret new project um codenamed the black omega project um <clears throat> they decided to come together as a team and form the reapers um and the reapers were sort of like a covert black ops team um working for the resistance willing to do operations and missions um against dark side that nobody else was willing to do what is going on in the background I think it's more peace. it is um okay yeah so, it was like cyber hell. essentially, what happened was, um, eventually, Darkseid found our base when um, we went on a mission. Our leader, Deathstroke, um, got killed. Yes, Deathstroke was our leader. Um, and when Deathstroke got killed, uh, my character, Quincy, he messed up. Uh, he essentially, um, one of Darkseid's generals placed a tracker on him. And all they had to do was follow them right back to their base. And once they found the base, they mounted a full-scale assault. Just relentless. And when I say that the only folks that survived were all of us and about three or four other people, that's it. You know, before our numbers were at least in the hundreds. And then after that, that was it. We are all... Nope, that was it. We were essentially we were all that was left. <clears throat> there were rumors floating around stating that Batman, Lex Luthor, and Fracture did survive the um the attack and that they were on their way to the Fortress of Solitude. However, you know, none of those rumors were a solid thing um for our team, our heroes, um at that point. And it was it was a shame. You know, um, so our heroes decided to find their own way. You know, they decided to go back, find a way to just go back, build their own time machine, and change all of this mess before it ever got started. Um, they had essentially given up on this time. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's a pretty sad story for our heroes, however. You know, it's That's about start. yeah. It's it's about hope dying and it being revived because of us. You know, it's not about hope always living or always staying alive or always. You know, no hope died and it died hard, but it is with you know. It's supposed to be like together, we can revive it, and that's why the name it's DCO. Like exactly, and that's why the names DCO survival so i hope y'all enjoyed this uh this podcast um get a little more insight like lanterns yeah (laughs) um i hope you guys get a little more insight um as to you know what our show's about what our universe is about um and um so you know when our when the black omega team goes back um with their friend ramon Um, Because essentially, those were the folks who escaped. It was the Black Omega team and their friend Ramon. Um, And like I said before, you know, there were rumors about Bath, Luthor, and a new hero known as Fractured escaping the base. But, you know, nothing was a solid thing. And, you know, they never had any solid proof, no solid evidence. 
so they felt the need that um they felt that it was up to them to save you know their time um and so you know together the how many of us is there like 15 oh no no oh no it's more than that there's a bunch of us yeah let's see matter of fact let's count it up let's count it up there's quincy new tech bandit mike maya malia page jack warhead and overkill oh that's 10 of us and ramon who makes 11 wow so the 11 of us we went back in time and that's where the start of our you know that's where the start of our story takes place um with the point of character essentially the point of certain characters like um frost and you know james um essentially wanted to give our heroes ties to you know the timeline they've landed in um you know to give them opportunity in order to um essentially a second chance at you know friends a second chance at <coughs> family. at family you know a second chance at being connected to other people um outside their you know outside the team um and you know we'll see how that plays out um i'm not gonna lie characters such as um characters like icy hot characters like dark frost and you know james well i'm gonna let you know now chances are dark frost is not gonna return um for season two same goes for james um but for icy hot icy hot is a big big question mark um because our girl makeup miller who uh voices icy hot um well essentially um i'm not gonna get into details but there's there's been a little yeah there's, there's been a bit of a situation with that um and so it's a, it's a big question mark um and at this point you know there's there's some things we got to get settled first before we can decide how to move forward with icy hot so for right now she'll she will still appear in the season finale but as for yeah <clears throat> as for things like season two have to have a Cam, 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 I swear to God. <laughs> Stop it. Look. Okay, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Spoiler alert. Yes, we were going to have a kill off episode. I'm not going to say who we were going to kill because it's a surprise. Don't worry about all of that. Kim just spoiled it for y'all. Thank you, Kim. I was saying, just saying something. I was <laughs> Hashtag goddammit, Kim. That's what we're doing. I said this would be a good idea. That's kind of true. She did say we should have or we could have. Yeah. It would Jimmy, be a what are you doing? I say, hey guys, we're actually are going to go do this. I did not say that. <laughs> okay. It's like, okay. like anyone who will be watching, that's probably what they're thinking, anyways. Okay. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. But. Um, yes, we are going to have a kill-off episode. I'm not going to say who it is. And I am going to censor Dre for spoiling it. <laughs> I'm going to censor the fuck out of him. Um, but, you know, it's, it's Dre. Um, so, yeah, um, things are going to get a lot darker in tone um, as the season goes on. We we do still have before the season finale. We still have about two or three more episodes, and then it's the season finale. But even then, the season finale itself is going to be, um, well, yeah, the season finale itself. That's going to be the very, very, very last episode um, of season one. Isn't and, that what usually a season finale? I mean, yes. However, I because. Kim, I, you didn't know this, but we were planning on breaking up the season finale in uh, like four or five episodes. But so it's I've been thinking. Part yeah, but I've been thinking about it, and I just decided to make them, you know, their own separate episodes. 
um instead of you know just having it like that so okay. yeah so that's what the deal with that is um She's eating. I'm eating gum. Oh. I'm chewing gum. Jimmy's what you eating? Down into her chair. Uh huh. Jimmy's what you eating? What are you eating? Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh, that's, what? That's classified. That's classified. Classified. What you're eating is classified, really? Terrible. Terrible. Just terrible. Uh 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 uh. uh, -uh. The scissors don't work. The scissors don't work with us. Uh uh. <laughs> you rolling with us now? The scissors don't work. She had a big bag of it was homemade chocolate, so I really think it was homemade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> homemade chocolate. <laughs> Marquise, give us a thumbs up if you can uh, hear us. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear us, Marquise. Okay, good. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice he was there. Definitely said Hello. Marquise, not Jimmy's. <laughs> In her defense, they rhyme. It does. No, but I, I didn't notice that his video thing was on. Marquise Jamise. They, they rhyme. I, they, I was putting at him and then it was on. But, um. Okay. Where are you? Oh, I'm in the computer lab. Not you. Oh, Marquise? Marquise? He's in the yeah. web. He's in the web. He's in the web. It's, we have full tables there, we got video games, we got everything. Bro, I'm gonna need one of y'all to drive over here and bring me over there. <laughs> like, this with is not okay. With car, though. I, me I meant no, one of them. Eric might have a car. I'm saying, with Eric, Eric does have a car. Wait, are y'all allowed to bring it over there? He's not As freshmen? Happy. Oh, okay. But, um. Anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah. Alright, so you guys. Hold on, let me let me stop the recording real quick. Alright, and this has been the DC Wall podcast, you know, for the Black Omega team. Um, for DC Wall Survival. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Give us a like, you know, thumbs up, etc., etc., etc. Subscribe. <clears throat> Turn on the notifications because you know we're going to be uploading. Um, especially with YouTube changing everything. So, you know, like I said, we're going to be uploading a lot more. And, uh, yeah. Um, stay tuned for more. Everybody, stay blessed. I'm gone.